Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. We are back. Right? I, I was just in the kitchen. Magically, into picks and bands. Kitty Gaming taking on Why Me? Question uh, mark. These two teams, Kitty Gaming, features Half Devil. He's been looking very, very good in the first match we saw. And already we're going to see Kali and Sir Kek get banned out right away. Kali being like a priority ban. Do you, do you agree with it? She does things that no other god in the game does. And while right. it's not always the best and not only the, not always the strongest characters, there is no other character in the game that can change the shape of a team fight as fast as Kali can. So you agree with getting her out of there? I think it's a pretty safe ban. Okay. All right. Well, Thor's going to be the second one here coming out for Kitty Gaming. Nox. Option over. Yeah, I, I've yet to even see a Nox get played. Even when she's not banned, she's not going to get paid. Uh, I, I over to Why Me, though, for final ban. Well, this is exactly what happened with Sylvanas, too, remember? That's true. So I want I want to see the Nox. First pick it, Kitty. Now, she is a better version of Habwa. Really? Because now she just has, like... Oh, a, get the poke. It's, it's less damage, sure, but she could do it from super far away. It's super hard to miss. She can hit the whole creep wave safely. I mean, it's 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 pretty nonsense. And any time someone aggresses, you could be like, no, 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 silence. Shh. <laughs> Silence, and then here's four. I was damage. talking. I was talking. Uh, Ra is going to be hovered on and locked in. No shocker there. Uh, Ra, even if you're even with him, he's still a little bit ahead because of the heal. Uh, yeah. That That's kind of like his claim to fame. Option over to why me, Apollo and Sylvanas. That's they huge. waste no time locking that in. That's huge. Apollo, Sylvanas, getting the duo lane as a whole is always really big. Um, this, for me, has to be Geb here for Kitty Gaming. They must pick him in this stage or he will be banned. Yeah, and it'd be very, very hard to pick a Bacchus going into that lane. Uh, with all the push, Bacchus has to put himself in a really, really bad spot to even do anything to the wave. Yeah. So Geb gets hovered on. More than likely will be locked in. Uh, one more pick for Kitty Gaming as well. They could look to finish their duo lane since counter pick potential still belongs to YME. I think it, I think it might be jungler and ban out. Oh, okay. Oh, this should. I, I really expected Rama here, but instead it's going to be on her. Yeah, on her is going to go ahead and get that locked in. On her and Geb working together here. Finally, why me with their last pick of this rotation? The decisions. I, I, I would assume jungler and then ban out other teams jungler, right? Like that's kind of what I was going with with Kitty Gaming. Four junglers banned. Yeah, I know. Just wow. keep banning. Exactly. I mean, why not? What are you going to leave them with, Bastet? It's not Lassus playing. I think right? I, I would rather wait for the jungler here. Since it seems that Kitty Gaming doesn't so. want to deal with the jungle by forcing them to ban something on Kitty Gaming and then having that opportunity. Oh, but no, they're going to hover and lock into Hunbots. All right. Yep. Strong. Pulling, pulling down the jingle bells, bro. Great matchup against Ra. Good matchup against On Her as well. Uh, Geb not su uh, actually has a pretty decent matchup against Hunbots, considering he can't be crit for more than 25% extra, which isn't nope. bad. Um, but we go back into the ban phase where the option belongs to Why Me? Why me? Well, could be a jungler ban. <laughs> that, that would be my strategy if I'm doing this. I, I think you just ban them out to the point where it's like, who could they possibly get? Right? And that's going to be... So there yeah. goes Bastet. So options are Scott, use your hamster wheel turning. Um, what's... What is even left? They're going to need they need, need to take a mage out here. That's the safe bet. I, I would ban Janice here. Though Europe doesn't seem to favor no, Janice. Janice, the does, they don't care at all. Which Vulcan, is, okay, that's fine. Like the worst because he's like not okay. Yeah. Like he's so strong. He's very, um, very strong. For why me, this is, a, this is a pretty free Hercules pick. It takes another jungle <laughs> option. Takes another jungle option away. Makes the I solo so. extremely hard to gank, especially with Humbots looming. Uh, extra yeah. healing come out. Sylvanas forcing them. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. It's okay. I think production's just messing with us. Yeah, no, okay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Agni. <laughs> the, the safe pick here. <laughs> Option over to Kitty Gaming. Oh! I like Cupid. Get out of here with that. I wouldn't pick him with Honor already on the team, unless you do support Cupid, which is How? fun. I forgot. All about Freya. Yeah. That's the smartest. Pick. All about Freya. You know why? Because she's played as a hunter in North America. So with Bakasura in the solo lane, that, that makes things a little awkward here. Um, John Quay, not a great matchup. Um, Hercules gets a little bit awkward with the Freya as well. I mean, but I don't know of many other picks. 
Um, oh, wow. Okay, they're going was... to they're gonna hover on to Habwa here uh, as production starts to get cut, cut up. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, Habwa gets hovered on and locked in. Um, so he can burst the Bakasura down, but, I mean, the gank potential with Freya in the jungle? Not even the gank potential. Habwa, literally, he better control that lane because if Baka hits five before him, it's... Regurgitate, dead. Yeah, yeah. There's I mean, no well, escaping. He, he can crushing wave out, but he must hit five at the same regard. He must sure. push. So really, it'll come down to can he use the hand of the gods properly to push himself over the mark and get the kill. Well, we'll find out, ladies and gentlemen. We're hopping to a quick break. When we come back, we'll be into the game. So stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Holiday Cup. It is time to get into the action. Kitty Gaming taking on Why Me. Kitty Gaming features Half Devil from Fnatic, or from formerly. Was not I mean, he, he's, he's got a per tag. He does have the per he's tag. Got a, you know, th there was a whole big thing on the Reddit, on the Twitters, and all those other newfangled things where Fanatic's roster was going I think I saw stuff. something on MySpace. Yeah, hey, uh, MySpaces and, and the, the Facebook. Is that site still around? I don't think so. Okay, well, anyways, continue. And, you know, they, they were like, we're kicking Half Devil, and this person's leaving. We're doing this, and we're doing that. We're like, guys. You need you need to start picking some some different things to do here. Well, Kitty Gaming has Half Devil. Shadow Nightmare has found himself on uh, Nova Source. Uh, so it looks like a lot of the roster has fallen apart. Yeah. Well, regardless here, we are going to see Sh Shakiro. Is that how we said it in the last time? Shakiro, yeah. Shakiro, who was it going... Be, it, it could be in. Shakiro. Yeah, he was going in on the last game. He's got the deep ward here on the speed buff. He knows... Oh, he might be able to run in. He doesn't really have the help side yet. He's anticipating them pushing through, but that speed buff ward is the w best for a reason. What game is uh, this? Oh, he, he sandwiched. What game is this Apollo playing? Oh, never mind. He's on smite. He's on smite. I don't I don't get it. You'll get it eventually. I don't get it. When you get when you get there, you tell me. Uh, left side camps going to be going the way of the red team, uh, which is going to be why me. Right side going to go the way of Kitty Gaming. I still don't get it. You'll get it. Trust I'm, me. I'm not going to get it. You'll... I can't tell if you're trolling. I, I I don't I wasn't put, I wasn't paying, I was watching the speed bump side I don't what quit. just happened to my mini map I don't know mine's like huge I don't have <laughs> 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 what <laughs> where'd they all go oh yeah. there we go there we go I fixed it, I fixed it. okay sorry about that guys um but I'd like everyone in chat is probably laughing at you right now I I just didn't see it I was I was oh, you got it now you got it now <sighs> I, okay dude I can't tell if he's kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, mid lane looking uh, at the way of Wolfie, who has complete control over this lane. Don't dash that. Don't dash. He oh, dashed, he's he, in so much trouble. He dashed it. Yep, that's going to be a decent amount of damage here. He hits a couple autos. He might be able to finish this one off. Oh, God. The jukes. That is that is like the hardest autos to hit. Yeah. It's like, you're like, if I hit two of these, I know these minions will take and them out. And you miss everyone. Ah. Uh. Uh. God, I, I know the feels, man. Anyways, we haven't talked about Freya in forever. At least it feels that way. Right. Uh, the last time I think I talked about her was uh, when Allied played her. But Freya in the jungle is something that we saw a lot during the SPL. And then it kind of switched to her being a hunter. But really, when you have her coming out of the jungle, it is very, very difficult to handle. Well, I mean, that's basically where she started. Her gank potential is insane. She has decent clear time with leveling pulse. I mean, she's very, yeah. very, very strong. Um, so it's not a surprise to me to be able to see her. I mean, obviously it has been a long time, but honestly, she never fell off at any point. In fact, putting her in the jungle is probably even better at this point, considering the nerfs that she did take were pretty much nerfs to the laning phase. Yep. And now she's going to go ahead and rotate, taking a look at the duo lane here on her and Geb, taking on Sylvanas and Apollo. Now, uh, right away, the Geb and on her together are going to do very, very well early phase. Now, Sylvanas kind of negates that just a little bit, but if Geb gets a good Cataclysm here, we're going to see on her be able to follow up with the Pillar Stun as well. It's a lot of CC in a very short amount of time. You know, and, and talking about Yemen, I mean, we, we normally saw him play in the mid lane, but he's made a, a, obviously a very great rotation over to the duo lane. He's played the, his, his first game on stream today very well, albeit... Uh, did not go up against Ataraxia, fought himself a sub. Uh, even so, I mean, Bird is no slouch. No, Bird, Bird, Bird actually played very, very well for Xiangbei as well. Yes. I mean, he, he got the he got the proxy from Heavy Hammer on him and was still able to juke him out a little bit. Uh, he He's definitely a very, very good player, which I think is why he's a good analyst as well. I think his team trusts him because he can hang with them, exactly. which, is, which is something you can't put a value on. Uh, but 
Taking a look at the timing here, 3.15 is the point that things start to get a little bit interesting here. You're going to see Geb rotate to the mid harpy. Sylvanas is going to be a little bit slow. And we should see left camps go to Kitty Gaming. Oh, right side. Yeah, well, Shakira's going to go off, so there's no pressure there. Half Devil taking a lot of damage on the left. And the first blood wow. of the game is going to be uh, actually then finding it. It trades it out either way. <laughs> Zop's in there, but look at this. Oh, wow. <laughs> The beautiful banish, but he still finds him over the wall. Yaman finds a kill as well. Wolfie getting very low. It looks like three kills gonna go the way of why me. Well, here we go. The boxing duel right here. Between who? The boxing duel between who? Don't. Just stop it. Okay. I don't even know what you're doing right now. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> production, is, production is actually yelling at him right now. Oh my god, you are the worst. You're the absolute worst. Almost. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. I, I didn't look at his name, man. I wish that you guys could hear Kevin just screaming uh, at Gandhi right now. Look, I, I have, I keep myself on a pedestal a little bit above. I don't listen to seventh grade humor, all right? Yes, you do. God. The in I hate you so much. You're the worst. I know, you're the worst, man. You just carried that joke for 4.30. I had no idea what was going on. Normally, I would have let it go on for so much longer. But uh, I was just tired of you today. Y you should be. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm done. I'm done with today. Uh, 4.30 all the way through. Uh, we're going to see Kitty Gaming with a small deficit here to the tune of about 800 gold. Uh, Wymy did manage to find not only an extra kill, but the first blood in that engagement. So uh, pretty strong to that. Zop was able to answer back, but he gets picked off in the end. Sanjo not rotating over to that fight. Maintains a, a very small uh, lead here as uh, Shakiro was pushed back. He lost a little bit of experience, not too much, uh, but enough to, I think, uh, make a pretty uh, decent dent. Yeah, it, it's interesting to see how the Habwa and Baka have to dance w against one another here. But as we go ahead and check out uh, the left side of the map, we're going to see on her. He's got the dev gloves online as well as Apollo. Apollo's beating him out just a little bit because uh, Apollo is 2-0. So he's got a little bit more gold in the pocket. And that's going to help, too. I mean, the dev gloves are already online and getting stacked, uh, as are on hers. But then you look at the gold difference. It's only about 300. Remember, yep. uh, on her did find a kill. But hey, you know, the faster he gets those actual pen boots online, the better. Yemen does take some damage there. Strangely, Half Devil goes oh, forward. Wow. They're going completely deep onto the Sylvanas here. Here comes Freya from the back. Zop does wow. not find the damage. That was three ultimates for one, and they don't find the kill. Did Freya just come in space? I mean, uh, 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 Apollo's taking to the air, actually. Hold on. They might be able to turn this oh, one around. No, 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 this no, could no, be a no, lot no, of trouble no, here. Agni's going to be here as well. There is no follow-up, but at least they did get the Apollo ultimate down. Uh, meanwhile, Ra is going to be in a battle here on the right side. He's going to be sitting in the heel. I really don't see any way that they aggress here. You know, that's one of the biggest strengths of Ra, too. Early game, when assassins don't have the damage to zero to death somebody, no. he can just sit in his heel, and you cannot box you him. Can't, you can't do anything about it. That, no. That's what I said. Even if you're even, you're still slightly behind with Rock. Right, so Kitty Gaming uses that effectively. They don't lose anyone. They didn't rather gain anyone either after the failed gank attempt. But ev even so, Wolfie's rotation was great. Baited out uh, for long enough. Ooh, trouble though. Uh, no Wrath of Terror going to be available here. Wolfie will not really even take any damage between the heal and the Geb Shield. Yeah, the Geb Shield uh, mitigates a lot of damage. Also, is it a get out of jail free card? Yes. Can't beat it. At least. At least you can get knocked up in it. Oh, jumping right onto the creeps on the right side. Uh, Shakiero uh, trying to push forward, recognizes that Havwa has gone back, which means he does have push potential here. Now, why me actually missing a pretty valuable camp split here? Rod normally uh, should be able to shove mid and then go and split speed with his jungler, but he's unable to do so right now. Well, right camps still haven't respawned. The entire area, though, is controlled by Why Me. They're going to get this one for yeah. free unless we see some super jank raw snipe, which uh, I think he might be going for. Oh! He, he gets some damage off. He but got the monkey tail. Yeah, I mean, but that's not going to help him. I mean, he's going to go back and use Bumbus to heal that up. In fact, uh, taking a look at gold in hand, uh, monkey's sitting at six, about 700 right now. So, yeah, he'll back. He'll be able to spend that. Okay, and now taking a look, Habwa actually starting off with the tier one of Book of Thoth. Uh, so most likely going to be Book of Thoth. No reason he should go into Soul Reaver at all. I, d I don't think that's justified. Oh, I actually, I, I thought we were going to see him wait and build level of mace, but uh, Humbus has gone into level two. 
uh, beads, which um, improved purification. A little bit over a, a two-minute cooldown when used, and two seconds CC immunity. Pretty strong at this stage in the game, though. I don't know who he's planning to use it against. It could just be for complete... Uh, I think he may just be wanting to have the the cooldown, man. Well, I mean, like as soon as beats three's done, I think he's gonna he just... try to maybe go for it. Sure. Yeah. Um, but you know, I, I look at what he's he's uh, leveling here, and that doesn't make sense to me because he's actually leveling the sacred monkey toss, which if you're going for cooldown reduction, generally you want to level the jump because the jump as you level it will reduce in cooldown. You give Jotuns, you give beads, you can jump in, in twice in two seconds. I mean, now, it's ridiculous. Now, I'm, I'm not sold on the whole sacred monkey over the jump. I, I Because I, so many people just try to justify it as poke, and I'm just like, eh, I don't, I don't see it. You know, it, it's, it's, a, it's a big oh. split. Sandro taking some damage, but unfortunately, uh, not taking much himself. Oh, <laughs> let me revise my statement. <laughs> um... <laughs> That was nuts. That was an amazing rotation coming out of uh, Wolfie there. This is the European Wolfie, by the way. And on top of this here, we actually are going to be seeing Kitty Gaming. Uh, they have to contest this uh, Gold Fury. Excuse me here. Is Gev's going to be there as well? The pillar's going to go up. Here comes the blink. Why me got it. And why me does have it on her already burned Desert Fury. Uh, Hunbats is going to be on the backside as well. Here comes Fear No Evil. That's going to put Ra in a bad spot. But he's still alive because he's Ra. He's just going to try to dance around there the impale is gonna miss he's gonna get sucked back up you better get out of here on her or else you're next yeah they kind of dropped the ball on that yeah. one half devil tried to make the play but the team was too late on the rotation that right there is the number one reason why you don't rotate to the solo lane if you rotate to the solo lane and they call it you will lose the gold fury every single time granted there was a steal attempt there but they didn't quite have the pressure to actually get it and now poor half devil with a sentry ward in the pocket not many places to put it is going to feel the hurt. Yep, Ancient Blade being picked up there on Bakasura. Looks like he's probably going to go with the old Haste and Fatalis Rush, which is my personal favorite. I like I, it before boots. I think it's so much better to build it really? before boots. Really? Well, if you, if you think about it, Bakasura from level 3 to level 9, 80% of his damage is coming off of Butcher's Blades. Right? You're not going to invest if, into a fight unless Butcher's Blades is available. So uh, attack speed is going to be so much oh, this stronger. Is Will he be able oh, to get it? Wow. Oh, the Aegis is going to be there waiting for the cooldown. Oh, he had the he had the right positioning, but that's what's... Was that's Crushing what's Wave on cooldown? Uh, Why didn't he just ult right out of there? I don't know. It was up at the end of the fight. I didn't actually check it until after the Aegis was used. It, so it could have been as soon as like he died kind of thing. It's possible, but I mean, the cooldowns are the same. They're 90 seconds at this point in the game. Oh, true. So, I mean, there, there shouldn't have been... At like a major disparity between the two. They used them together the last time. So it was curious to see the fact that he went down. Maybe he was looking to counter-initiate and maybe overstate his welcome, but uh, Sanjiaro could not uh, uh, have afforded that. Or, or, I'm sorry, Shakiaro could not have afforded that death. That's no. a very, very big death because anything that big makes Bakasura big at this stage in the game is going to spell disaster. Yeah, and he's just going to keep kind of spiraling out of control. On, on the right side here, Apollo really trying to carry his team here. Uh, he's 3-0, and doing everything. He's got full dev gloves as well. Uh, mid camp's not coming up for a bit here on either side. Gold Fury as well. Uh, we could see this kind of start to slow down a little bit as people kind of go to their respected lane and try to get a pick because there's no real objective for them to focus on right now. Oh, Shakiaro taking a huge hit there with the knockup, but the splash actually misses. Hand of the God's going to be used one shot from the Butcher's Blades. Not going to do a lot of damage, but he'll do enough. The goal here for Shakiaro is just to keep the pressure on without overcommitting to the fight. He wants to wait until his ultimate is back up, and it just has. So now he can reinitiate re at his whim, wait for the crushing wave, try to bait it out. Oh, but that jump, oh, he's lucky that that knockup yeah. didn't hit. That would have been death. It could have been. Very, very close. Uh, Ra's going to be in the middle here. Agni has picked up the Divine Ruin as well. Already? To de yeah, he wants to deal with the Ra. I mean, it makes... Well, I mean, you, you look at the board. Ra. Bakasura can eat and heal himself up. If he builds Lifesteal, that's another thing. You know, yeah. on her already has the Lifesteal. Freya's passive is Lifesteal. And then they have the Ra with Solar Blessing. I mean, there's a decent amount of healing on this team, so I can see, I can see the choice. Yep. So, he's going to head back there. He is going to return into lane here. Uh, he's got boots, and it looks like he's actually going into Book of Thoughts. So uh, I, we actually haven't seen the Warlock Sash Ra come out today, which is always my favorite. A tanky Ra is scary, but in the mid lane here, Fear No Evil is going to come out as well. Ra is going to take a lot of damage. He's going to get erased. 
Gem's going to go ahead and knock one up, but there is no follow-up. It's still going to be a little bit here for the Gold Fury, but they were able to get the left Harpies. Will they be able to get the right now is the question. You know, I'm looking at that fight. I mean, three full ultimates right there uh, for just the raw. I mean, they granted, they burned the raw Aegis, and I think that's a pretty big win, but... I mean, he really wasn't worth all that much to begin with. He was already 1-2 at that point. I mean, I don't know if I would have expended that much to take down a player who was already behind. Well, the right camps are going to come up, and we're actually going to see Kitty Gaming just completely rotate out of this one. And why me doesn't even want a piece of it, unless Hunbats is going to be the one who gets it. But I don't even know if Kitty has a timer. Check here on the right side is actually freezing the lane. Um, which is not a tactic we see all too much in Smite, albeit still a very strong tactic, uh, tactic nonetheless. Uh, this is going to give him some extra experience versus the Habwa, and if Habwa wants to get that experience for himself, has to put himself in a rather precarious situation. The issue here is that if they rotate over to take Habwa down, they're going to rotate too many people over, and their resources will be spent as the Gold Fury is respawning in just a few seconds. And Habwa actually has the most player damage uh -oh. right now at 6,000. Regurgitate's going to come out. He's going to miss it. Crushing Wave's going to hit. Water Cannons turn on him. That wasn't able to finish it up. But that Book of Thoth already making a huge difference in these team fights. All right, so, er, so Gandhi, we, we, we've talked to Bart <laughs> about this. We have talked to Dry Bear about this. I'm very interested into your input as well. Okay. Which one of Habwa's three ultimates do you like the best? The range knockup that does like a thousand damage, or the three second <laughs> splash damage that does like a thousand, or I, the crushing I, uh, wave that hits everyone? Crushing, crushing wave is, it, it kind of gives you like that panic attack, right? Because if you miss it, you're like, oh, God, my team's going <laughs> to yell at me. Water cannons, though, you can't ever miss. Yeah, like, I mean, there, it's you just, have to, you have to like. If they, if they stand in mid range, they're taking four hundred. Like, I, I think water cannons. Do water, water can cannons water, is it? See, I like water spout. Oh, you like the spout? It's just like, okay. hey, five hundred damage. You're knocked up for a second and a half, and you're flying all around the map. Disoriented. Income a Wheelix. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> See, that's. You know, a lot of people have been asking me how I feel about her, and I think her early game, similarly to Thanatos, is very strong, but her late game isn't great unless there's a Vulcan or a Habwa. And if there's a Vulcan or a Habwa and they hit that range knockup, it's just like, thank you. Here's a free kill. Uh, speaking of free kills, there's Shakiero about to hold that if he doesn't dip. Well, Wolfie actually is in the mix of a lot of stuff. Fear no evil as well. Oh. Down he goes. Freya is going to be forced She's all dead. the way out. Uh, Hunbat says rest in peace. And now the Gold Fury is up as well. This leaves it up to Geb and on her. I don't know if Half Devil has what it takes. Hunbats is starting to get very, very Look scary. Look and he's that. just going to slow him down. That is a great play. Half Devil comes rolling in. The Gold Fury is still going to be up there. He's just going to wait on it. He's just a little bit late. That's a lot of damage on Half Devil. Oh, Kitty Gaming oh, was able to get it. He turns around, knocks him up. In comes on her. He's got the damage, but he does he have the follow up? The pull is going to come in. On her is going to get sucked back up. He might go down here in just a second, and Agni's going to clean him up. Great positioning, but a bigger play out of Half Devil. I don't always like to be the negative guy there, but Yemen just threw that fight like straight in the Oh garbage. my god, look at he, you. He's, he was on a target, had a kill, switched. Got that target low, he jumped away, and then he chased it like a Halo player chasing, you know, walking around yeah, corners. Yeah, we, we, don't, we don't chase kills, bro. No, there's no kill chasing. It's it's 2014. You don't chase kills. That's like what you learned in 08. You could have said any year in 2000, and it still was, you do not chase kills. Yeah, but, like, you would, you would I would say, like, in 08, it was, like, officially unacceptable to chase kills. Right. Like, right. that was it. That's what separated the good shooter teams in, in like, 04, 06. Yeah. And that's what separates it in, like, every game. And then right there, Yaman, he got a target low enough and then switched for no reason because he got yep. body blocked for one shot and then chased the target around for a while, put himself in a bad spot. Half Devil gets caught. Sure, they get the goal, Fury, and that's a pretty big win for Kitty Gaming. But you look at the chart, they lost more experience than they ever got close to gaining, and they lost every point of gold that they would have gained otherwise. That was a huge win for Wymie, even with the drop. Uh, and, you know, with that drop, I'm kind of looking at what a little bit because he, he should have had that yeah. one. Uh, what also is really scary here is as you take a look at Wolfie, Wolfie's, uh, he, he's a little bit off of this Book of Thoth. I mean, he's got like 400 more gold to actually have to worry about. It's here. pretty late, but, you know, Book of Thoth, similarly to Transcendence, is yep. one of those items that you don't need to stack. You're no. going to get that huge, huge burst of power yeah. either way. The stacks, You're not worried about it. Stacks are going to help, right? They definitely don't hurt you, but it's not something that's dire. Whereas Warlock Sash, you need like 80 stacks for that thing to be worth it. Now we we have two we have two balance blades coming out. Obviously, it's going to be an executioner on her, but is it going to be a chin size coming out on Baka? 
It's going to be a yeah. long time. I mean, I, I would expect so. I mean, you, you look at the right side, they have the Sav up, but then there's no other point of defense. In fact, Hunbots, uh, you know, is, has gone into full assassin mode. You know, Agni is like full mage mode with a little yeah. bit of utility with the Divine Ruin. This, to me, Chin Size will do a little bit better. Ooh. The Aegis is going to be out. Fear No Evil is going to be there. Wolfie is going to get caught, and he's going to be taken out again. That, that is the reason that sometimes you shouldn't build Aegis. Because Aegis, once it's over, makes you a sitting duck. And if I, you're I, inside Fear No Evil, nothing's going to happen but fear as soon as you're out of it. Yeah. it's a good point. I, 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 I always like the two-second one. I don't know if that's... They're both two seconds. No, no, no. The one you can walk. What, what, oh, one? Pendant. Pendant. Yeah, pendant, I like Pendant, pendant a lot better. See, the, the issue is against that team, he couldn't break the Fear No Evil. He can't break... Uh, no, I guess that's maybe the Agni stun. Everything else, yeah, you know, he can he can pretty much break. Yeah. Because in knockups, you're not gonna be affected anyway. So maybe you're right. Maybe Aegis Pendant in this situation would have been a stronger pickup. Um, yeah, he has the greater Aegis, so it, it could hurt either way. Either way, we're gonna see the red team burn this down. Why me looking for the tier two? And again, we could see. Well, rather, we are seeing another top team kind of get bullied out. Yeah, and. That is going to be Sylvanas just continuously pushing and continuously healing his entire team. Freya now forced to only take the back right camps here as the left harpies are going to be taken. Right will be taken as soon as those come off respawn. They have complete map control. They have complete ward control. They have complete tier 1 tower control. This is not looking good for Kitty Gaming. They have a huge hill to climb. Yes, they do. I mean, the, the 7,000 gold by itself is... Devastating at this stage in the game, you know, yeah, you're 17. Uh, yeah, it's, it's 19 minutes. It's, we're about to get to 20 minutes. Fire Giants, the, the main objective at this point in the game. And you think about characters that you don't want to be behind, Ra is definitely going to be one of them. And he's so squishy at this stage in the game, considering he hasn't built the Warlocks, there's no E staff. You know, he has the beads online, but no movement without sprint. I mean, granted, a little bit, but he doesn't have a jump or a leap. I mean, he's been picked off every single time. He's 1 5 2 right now. Yeah, he, he's had a really rough game. A really, really rough game. And it'll be interesting to see kind of what he goes into after Book of Thoth, right? I mean, it might be, I hope he doesn't get like, okay, maybe I should go Breastplate now. Like, he can't be doing that. You know, whereas the other side, you, you take a look. Oh, wait, look, let's first talk about this. Huge shot coming out there. Agni going to be forced away. Shouldn't be in too much trouble, though. They're chasing down a Hunbots. Beautiful Fear No Evil <laughs> forcing the beads from Zop, and then Zop couldn't even, like, orient himself fast enough. But they're going to turn hey. their sights to the bottom side. Uh, Sanja, ooh, wow. Bakasura is kind of online now. That Hasten Fatalis, that Balance Blade putting a lot of movement speed, a lot of attack speed. Uh, allows him to stick to him front to back. Almost goes down, but he stays up and now has enough gold to finish up the chins. He got very, very lucky as well. That water spout almost went right under his feet, and yeah. that's a dead Baka. <laughs> oh, yeah. I well, mean, it would have been like a trade. but It's going to be scary now. I mean, how much damage did he just gain with the chin size? His attack speed, you know, with his passive up is, is pretty close to cap at the stage in the game. I mean, he can really, really swing. And, and so that's going to be Sylvanas. He's going to go for the steal here. Onher's going to be there. The pillar, he's going to force the reset here. It comes crashing in Apollo in the middle of it. Kitty Gaming's able to get it again. That's the second one. Half Devil's hitting every hand he can. Agni's in a lot of trouble. Down he goes. Will Sylvanas be next? He is on the other side here. Hun, Bats, and Apollo together. Bakasur could be in a lot of trouble. He's going to go ahead and teleport to him. Trying choke. to do it. Oh, my God. That was a big The Gem Shield. And the fear no evil again, and that's going to force him out. Apollo's not done yet, though. Honor's going to come in, and he's just going to get crushed. Oh, half that double. is greed. Half double trying to turn around. A beautiful rotation there from Rudos. He's going to have this kill as well. Poor half Woo! devil going to be picked off. He finds a double kill. He finds the steal, but half devil not able to carry any harder than that. The Dia side goes off the tier two. Unofficial Rudos. Hunbots Penta as well. Triple kill and a double kill. I, I didn't even see. I I wasn't even paying attention to that. Good for him. I mean, that was sick. I, the Hunbats, Hunbats, he had great positioning. I mean, just when you look at it, like, the Fear No Evils have been perfect. He's saving it, kind of baiting it out. And he's in a position for some reason that he's able to just get all the crits in the world without taking that much damage. I mean, he left with about half of his health. That's true. So... 
22 minutes in. They didn't get the fire giant off that. They took a tier two uh, to kind of cancel out the gold fury. You know, you look at the graph again. Again, it, it looks like they lost more gold than they gained once again. Even yeah. so, the experience difference is what's really starting to scare me. But with the level 20s on board, it's starting to neutral out a little bit. I'm um, looking at Shekiero. I mean, he needs to have better positioning in these fights. Zop, level 16 right now, comparatively to the Humbots, who's level 25 kills will do that. Don't don't look at Sanjo's re recent item build. Just don't do it. He's gonna be hurting. He's gonna be hurting really hard. <laughs> you know, I'm actually interested. Let's see what we got here. Magical stat is 458 right now uh, with no passive stacks, which is gonna be pretty scary. I mean, he's going to be able to add a pretty significant amount of damage on top of that. You're, you're talking about. Raz got 190 though, okay? One play, like, post 500. Oh, so a lot of trouble. Rudos doesn't manage to find the damage just yet. Going to use the Fear No Evil, but Zop from the back will find a check arrow, uh, trying to walk away as well as Sanjo. Finds some damage, but not nearly enough. Uh, eyes here on Sylvanas. Will he go for the blink? They're, I know they're not going to let them do the FG just yet. Wow, is this real life? Apollo's just going to go straight into a bandage. He's going to get forced out. Searing Pain's going to hit as well. That's going to be a Fire Shard missing, uh, excuse me, a Meteor missing from Agni. And now Habal is going to head back, and now it is going to be everyone going back. I thought this was going to be a big team fight. I mean, Apollo wasted his ultimate. There was no real follow-up at all. And now he backed, but, you know, the blue team doesn't know that he backed at this stage of the game. They had no wards sure. on that. Uh, so, actually, Sylvanas is backing as well, which is a little curious. Level 14, um, of course, not really much movement speed to his name. Uh, but he is spending gold. Emerald Talisman is done. He has that weakening curse online as well to try to stop the raw heals for at least a little while. Even so, yeah, um, they, they still have a pretty big advantage, and the fact that they're not winning the team fights faster is strange. Magi's blessing coming out from Hunbats here on top of the Deathbringer. Uh, he actually sold his Bumba's mask to get that as well. So he, he's going to be a little bit more tanky in a team fight, stay alive just a little bit longer. Uh, he could have really done anything. I mean, he's seven two and seven, and he he's not getting focused in team fights. I'm, I'm looking at this fight on left here, where Yaman once again is having a, a little bit of trouble getting pushed out. Um, you know, and generally these are unknown players. I mean, I don't think I know any of these names uh, comparatively to the yeah. left or to the left side of your your mini or your spectator UI, where you're going to see. Five people who you guys know and love. I mean, uh, fear no evil trouble. coming out here. Trouble, trouble, trouble. The Cataclysm is going to follow it up, and then in the backside, Hubwa could be in a decent amount of trouble here. Look at the battle there. Pakasura can't handle Hunbots, and now Frey is going to be on the other side. Geb, uh, this is a tough match for you, my friend, and he's going to get cleaned up there by Hubwa. The pillar is going to come down, but that is going to be a fire giant here for Why Me, unless Ra, aka Wolfie, can come up big. Can he do it? He's got the ultimate online, and he's going to be able to connect with one person. There's no follow-up. Crushing Wave's going to kill someone on the other side Jesus. of that. That is not good, DM. Not good. Fire Giant goes to Waimei, oh, wow. and Ra gets out of dodge. Wow, who did who did he eat? Oh, he ate Freya with the wave. Yeah, and that makes sense. Grass actually almost found another kill there. That was very, very close. Even so, uh, Fire Giant's going to go down at the 2530 mark. Why me with a 10 kill lead as well as about 6,600 gold, 14,000 experience, albeit a lot of it normalized considering how many level 20s are on the map. Uh, even so, we are seeing a huge amount of pressure come out from Why me And with this Fire Giant buff, that's going to make their team so much stronger because now the sustainability increases. They didn't need the damage boost. No. They needed sustainability, and that HP 5 is going to spell huge dividends. Well, the thing that's going to be really tough for Kitty Gaming here, I mean, he's just got a magic focus, Ra does, after his Book of Thoth. I mean, this is 26 minutes into the game. He's just not putting out the Damahes, and as we take a look, that should be a Gold Fury here going to oh, Wymie as well. I mean, no one's going to contest that. They're so afraid of Habwa anyways that they don't want to deal with the Water Sprout. You get caught in one Water Sprout at this point in the game, it's done. Uh, more than likely. It's done. So the, don't forget, guys, the Gold Fury, while very helpful, doesn't do anything for them until they back and actually spend that gold. So that small advantage they've gained really was only experience for what? I mean, and uh, honestly, I mean, level 15 going into 16 is not going to help him. That's a level of nature's grasp. And the blinks are going to come in. Here comes the Cataclysm on top of that Desert Fury. Only connecting with Sylvanas. Fear no evil is going to be there as well. Rudas is able to get one. Sanjo another. Shakiro able to find Sylvanas. Oh, That's it. This is going to be big. Habwa is going to be taken out here just in a second by Onher. And now here comes Hunbats. Hunbats might be in a world of trouble. 
Rai, you got to get in there. They're not going to chase. Okay. This is very strange. Uh, watch Apollo here is going to try to use these creeps to heal up a little bit. He needs to dash in there. He needs to find the kill. There's no reason for them to back off here in the 3v2. They still have the damage. They still have the control. I mean, you take a look They're at scared. On Her. You take a look at On Her, and the beads were used. Right? The beads are down. The sprint is down. I mean, the, the, the counter initiation possible here is massive. But instead, they find three for two, give up two people with the fire giant, and they do nothing out of it. And now on her, it's going to go ahead and grab this back right camp. Apollo's just going to kind of dash away and go back. This, this is the possibility of a comeback. Like, they're letting them back into the game, DM. Well, 2 minutes 30 seconds till FG comes back. They need to use this time wisely on Kitty Gaming. Try to stall it out as best they can. Clear the jungle. Keep the waves pushed. Don't allow them to reform and push the towers or the Phoenix is down. Uh, they have about a minute left of Fire Giant, about a minute 10, which means by the time that Hobble actually gets down to the bottom right side of the map, their Fire Giant's basically gone. He got... Baka got another balanced blade. That is curious. So he's going to go Hasten Chin's X? Honestly, I, I don't know how I feel about that, considering he has no buffs right now. Yeah. And he's sitting at 2.14. I mean, that uh, with his with his attack speed buff, it's going to put him close to cap. But he once he builds the final item, it, it overcaps him. This should have been crit damage or some type of utility. I don't see how this uh, this extra attack speed is going to help him. He the penetration isn't enough. He needs to go back and get Fist of the God so he can have a stun on his kit. At least burn a Magi's on his opposition or at least get some free Regurgitates down. Maybe that, I, I actually would prefer, I think, the hand. The hand three, really? Just because, like, they're picking on half devils so much. They need another source of steel uh, to come out somewhere uh, right now. Okay. Granted, they still have Freya as well, but I think Freya should rather have the fist, considering she's just getting bursted down in every fight. She needs some type of extra escape. Yeah, you would think the banish is enough. But yeah. when you get when you get that focus, it when, just when is When Habwa not. goes, hey, knock up <laughs> crushing wave, you're dead. <laughs> Uh, a little bit 500 more. into 15 bajillion damage. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, he only has about 1,800 health. He's sitting at 1,791 at level 18. I mean, Habwa can finish that off in two, maybe three hits. Yep. Well, Bancroft's finally coming online here for the fray up, which is going to be big coming that, into the team fight. That's a helpful. Of, a lot of extra Demahes. Well, this does two things for her. The first off, it's going to give her, obviously, a ton of damage. Freya doesn't want to ult to start fight. She wants to wait until she's half health and bring herself out of the fight while dealing damage. So the damage that she would gain from Bancroft's talent, giving her the damage for the lower health that she is, is very beneficial. The second thing is it's 12% lifesteal coupled with, you know, Whatever that B word is, blessing, uh, brissing me. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't speak other languages. Yeah. Uh, you know, the I'm in the same boat, it's, bro. It's 15 percent life steal with another 12 percent, and those are single target hits, oh, which means oh, she's oh, getting 100 oh. percent of that. That's huge. Oh my God! I thought I thought Hunbot was gonna come in hot. I thought Rudas was gonna do it. He had Sacred Monkey hit all. Th he had him hit three people and then come in, steal the red buff. That's the plays. It's also the potential throws. <laughs> yeah, but oh, that, was, <laughs> that could have been a big throw. Again, Sacred Monkey Toss not going to do it. See, this is why I like to level the jump, because you're level 20 now. Now you're using it for poke. It would have been yeah. leveled either, either way. Earlier on, extra jumps could have helped him a little bit more, but I, I mean, agree. obviously you can't you can't cite him for doing badly. I mean, the guy is 9 to 10 right now. As the bomb's coming up, uh, Zop Ooh. is up in the air. Uh, what actually finds only one person with the big shot. Uh, even so, look look at the damage in the background. What's what's going down? Oh, oh never mind. Yep. You're gonna be looking at Sanjo. Sanjo has a big Rudos. opportunity here. Gets the double. <laughs> he traded that. He traded that. He traded that. He did. He, sacred Monkey. Only uh, Wolfie's. Oh, Jesus. Shoot. Wolfie, Merry Christmas, buddy. See you soon. Wow. Just no FG here. No FG here. Go to the Phoenix. Go to the Titan. This should be all she wrote. There's no reason for them to have to drop this game. They have still got their Hunter ready to go, who's already burning it down. Very smart play. That should have been in favor of Kitty Gaming, but Sanjo comes in with the Sanjo. sexiest crushing wave. Oh, Sanjo's been crushing it, no pun intended. Where is there. he going? Why are they doing this? I don't. They Half Imagine they died to the Phoenix. Half Devil's up in 10. They uh, they don't have the pressure here. Wow, they took way too long to kill that. Uh, Yeah. They got some creeps in here, which means backdoor protections are removed. Half Devil uh, is up, but that is already down. And they don't have the pressure right now. I can't now with get Wolfie over the dead. lack of damage that they have. Like, what? 
Like on towers. Well, I mean, oh, Apollo doesn't have a Titan's Bane. Right. I mean, there, yeah. there's no the, the unicorn build is, is what's going to help you push a little bit faster. Crit doesn't apply. I mean, Deathbringer no. is 50 damage to towers, and that's it. The, the crit strike and the crit damage does not matter. Looking at rage, critical strike and the passive again doesn't matter. That's just 80 damage between two items, uh, as opposed to you know something like Titan's Bane, which is giving you a 33 percent increase to your damage base to those phoenixes. Agni finishes the Rod of Tahuti on the left side. Ra finally getting the artifact on board. I think we might... My gut tells me that he'll probably go Tahuti, but for some reason, if I was him, I would just kind of rip it into a Kronos because it doesn't look like this game. So he's going to have enough time to get that online. Let me see here. Gold in hand. Uh, Ra is sitting at 200. Like yeah. there's, the, He needs a 1,200 gold to get that thing online. So yeah. I expect that it, it'll probably just be a Kronos. But will he even get that far? I mean, oh, Fire oh, Giant oh. was just taken by Yme. They have complete control. Two Phoenixes down in middle and left, which is massive. And look at the Fire Minions burning down. Man. Yep, and Half Devil gets out of dodge. And now on her gets out of there as well. Freya is going to be in the mid lane. She does have to be careful. Ra rotating all the way back. It's the last stand here over on the right. Phoenix, the blink cataclysm comes in. Beads are already burned. Sylvanas is going to be there. He used the Wrath of Terra. Fear No Evil is going to do a lot of damage. He's going to come jumping in. He gets impaled. There's no turn, though, on Hunbots. No one's focusing him, and he's going to be able to run away. Half Devil now turns around. It's up to him and on her together in order to hold this off. I don't know if they have it. Apollo's going to push up. Ra's going to get knocked up there with the water she spout. Almost. Oh. Yeah, he almost just got taken. And it looks like Yme has the potential to end this. I don't see how they can hold it. And just like that, Kitty Gaming is going to lose to Yme in the semifinals. Crushing Wave just hit for 1,300 what? damage. <laughs> Did it? Did it really? So Yme and their rag ragtag group of ranked, I assume, players uh, just beat Yam and Half Devil, really? Shakira, Wolfie, and Zop QQ, who managed to, before that, take down Aquila? Did it? Or was it was it Aquila or was it SK? Replay of an unofficial Penta coming Boy, up now. <laughs> Let's watch this. So we're going to be checking in here with Rudos the hero. He finds himself a lot here. Yeah, and not only that, you know, he eats a little bit of the Desert Fury, but notice how his ability comes in. They lose. They lose this Gold Fury, but they win this fight. Rudos gets the first one, finds the second one. There's going to be a guy kind of hanging out on the backside. He's going to use his Sacred Monkey, I believe, first. Nope, nope. He uses the Pound. There's the Sacred Monkey comes in. Hits him with a little bit of a chase there. Geb Shield, oh, no problem. Cleans that, that been, one up. That would have been a Pentakill if he didn't miss that auto attack. Yeah. And then look at that. It's just routine right in front. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're 100% right. He he dropped his own pentakill. Man, wow. that, that sucks. Yeah. That, that. It's, it's not very often that we're depressed looking at a replay of someone playing really well. That's, man, that does suck. That sucks. Uh, you don't have to go to finals, though. Yeah, but, man. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we're hopping to a quick commercial break. When we come back, it's the finals. Tweet it out. We'll see you soon.